It arrives every quarter, is officially only a rough estimate, yet has the unofficial capability to send shares skyward. And having just passed the 1st of April, we've just got the first one for 2017. I am, of course, talking about Tesla's quarterly manufacturing and delivery figures, which plopped into my email inbox yesterday morning, as it does for just about every other motoring journalist, financial analyst, green car advocate, and Tesla fan out there. And I'll be deconstructing those figures right next. Don't go anywhere. Happy Monday to Internet! It's Nikki Gordon Bloomfield here from Transport Evolved, and today we'll be going over the quarterly estimates released by Tesla over the weekend that demonstrate the vertical energy company and automaker is showing absolutely no signs of slowing down its bid to wean the world off fossil fuels and onto clean, green, renewable energy, setting new delivery and production records in the process. But before I go into those figures, I should make a note here that unlike every other automaker out there, which released official sales and delivery figures at the end of every month for each of its key markets, Tesla only releases global quarterly production and delivery figures. I'd love to tell you there's a real reason behind why Tesla behaves differently to every other automaker out there, but honestly, that's kind of how Tesla does everything. It's raison d'etre, if you will. And given the fact that Tesla never used to give us its delivery figures at all, I'm going to call that a win. Back to the figures. In Q1 2016, that's one year ago, Tesla delivered a total of 14,820 cars. This year, for Q1 2017, Tesla delivered just over 25,000 cars, a 69% increase over this time last year. It also made 25,418 cars during the quarter, with some of those cars not being delivered and being marked as in transit at the end of the quarter, some 4,600 or so. But back to the delivered cars. Of those 25,000 Teslas introduced to their owners during the quarter, 13,450 were Tesla Model S, while 11,550 were Model X, representing a 54% share for Model S and 46% share for Model X. That's far different to the early months of Model X production, where Tesla's output was heavily skewed towards Model S, and is almost the 50-50 split that Musk said some time ago he expected Model S and Model X vehicles to ultimately reach. Given that Tesla's sales in China have gone up of late, and Chinese buyers like their US counterparts love them some SUV, it's hardly surprising. This reasonably even split also means that Tesla has now hopefully ironed out the last of the quality control issues that plagued early Model X and slowed down production rates. And that's a good thing because the more Model X it can make, the more economies of scale come into play. It's also worth noting that all these Model X being sold should push up the average price of a new Tesla, since Tesla Model X is noticeably more expensive than Tesla Model S, and I assume more favorable economies of scale are now coming into play because Tesla is making more of them, this is very good for Tesla's bottom line. There are, of course, a few caveats that I should note here. First, Tesla says its final figures, which we'll see in a month or so's time as part of the official Q1 earnings report, may differ a little from its estimate, as vehicles have to be delivered to customers and all the paperwork has to be completed before Tesla will count a vehicle as sold. Consequentially, its estimates tend to be a little conservative until it's verified that all of those cars delivered in the final two or three days of the previous quarter have actually been delivered with all the correct paperwork carried out and signed for. In the case of this past quarter, it's likely that at least some of the 4,650 vehicles Tesla said were in transit at the end of the quarter will ultimately make it into the delivered pile, which could affect Tesla's final figures by around 0.5%, or 100 cars or so, give or take. While I'm not a financial guru, it's worth noting here that this good news from Tesla, which still has to be confirmed in an official quarterly report, has already pushed Tesla stock way up on Monday's trading, peaking at $298 per common share and making Tesla worth more than Ford, something that made Tesla CEO Elon Musk joke on Twitter, Stormy and Shortville, uh, dig at those who've been shorting Tesla stock in the hope that the company will come crashing down and they'll make lots of money. With Model 3 due to start production later this year, there seems to be no sign of Tesla production figures dropping anytime soon, which is great, but it makes me wonder just how high Tesla's production figures for the year will be. 100,000? 120,000? 150,000? More? Less? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you can support us through Patreon. There's a link below. And at the end of this video, 
and I'll be back tomorrow with more news from the world of cleaner, greener, safer and smarter vehicles. Until then, I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield. Thanks for watching and as always, keep evolving! <laughs>